Good day everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In C-sharp, the string type is immutable. It means a string cannot be changed once created. For example, a new string, hello world, will occupy a memory space on the heap. Now, changing the initial string hello world to hello world from Michael will create a new string object on the memory heap instead of modifying an original string at the same memory address. This behavior would hinder the performance of the original string changed multiple times by replacing, appending, removing, or inserting new strings in the original string. To solve this problem, C# -sharp introduced the string builder in the system, text namespace. The string builder doesn't create a new object in the memory, but dynamically expands memory to accommodate the modified string. You can create an object of the string builder class using the new keyword and passing an initial string. The following example demonstrates creating string builder objects. In using the string builder, make sure to include the system.text. This is how we create a string builder object. In this code, we just create the string builder without passing a literal string. You can also create a string builder and initialize its value like this statement. Optionally, you can also specify the maximum capacity of the string builder object using overloaded constructors. This statement will create the string builder and specify the maximum capacity. C# -sharp allocates a maximum of 50 spaces sequentially on the memory heap. This capacity will automatically be doubled once it reaches the specified capacity. You can also use the capacity or length property to set or retrieve the string builder object's capacity. Here is an example program where you can iterate the use of for loop to get or set a character at the specified index. The string builder is not the string. Use the toString method to retrieve a string from the string builder object. Here is an example program where we can retrieve the string from the string builder object using the dot to string method. Use the append method to append a string at the end of the current string builder object. If a string builder does not contain any string yet, it will add it. The append line method append a string with the new line character at the end. We can also use the insert method to insert a string at the specified index in the string builder object. In this example, I insert the word C# -sharp starting at index 5 of the variable SB. String builder has also a remove method where we can remove a string from the specified index and up to the specified length. In this example, we remove the word world from the string builder object. The first parameter which is 6 will be the index. The second parameter which is 7, is the length or the number of characters we want to remove from the object. String Builder has also a built-in method to handle the replacement of all the specified occurrences with the specified replacement string. In this example, the word world will be replaced by the word C sharp. Now, these are the points to remember about String Builders. 1. String Builder is mutable. 2. String Builder performs faster than string when appending multiple string values. 3. Use String Builder when you need to append more than 3 or 4 strings. 4. Use the append method to add or append strings to the String Builder object. 5. Use the toString method to retrieve a string from the String Builder object. For a quick self-check. True or false. 1. String Builder is a string. 2. String Builder is an object. And last. String is mutable. You can comment your answer below. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.